Next question is from Thunderbolt. I've heard the older you get, you begin to lose muscle mass. Is this true? If it's true, can it be reversed with weight training? Is it harder to make gains the older you get? Yes, the older you get, you do lose uh, muscle mass. I hate that, though. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's based off of a study that's uh, where we take everybody, all walks of life, and we, we average it out. And we average it out. And since we know that 80% of the population don't strength train, mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah, of course, you know, over the course of 30 years of we tracked people aging that you lose muscle mass, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, if you maintain, you're such an outlier. Right. So th that's that's where this this idea comes from. That's it, well, where well, aging regardless, you will lose some muscle mass. But here's the difference. That's not true. Oh. Somebody who's never worked out before, who is 30 years old, I put them on a weight training program from 30 to 40, what will happen? From Hold on a second. I'm talking about, let's say you're consistent working out the whole time. So I'm always- so, I've been through. That, that's the problem. That's not everybody else. But I'll still lose muscle. So like a you know, 60-year-old me and that's is not, not going to have as much muscle. And even that's not necessarily true. If you are trained- So you're saying that your, your body so, doesn't age? So No, I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that it doesn't get more difficult as you get older. I'm just saying that the studies are flawed that, you're, that we're using to have this well, discussion. This, For example, okay, to your point, which you're where you're going right now- is if I train consistently the same way from you know 17 years old to 60 years old, do you lose? Yeah, of course you do. That's what it but what if you train at 17 years old to 30 years old three times a week, and then from 30 to 40, you scale to four to five days a week, would you lose muscle? You, you, well, no, no, you wouldn't. You, maybe. You no, know, you wouldn't. You, 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 maybe. So, here, so here's my point, what I was going to make with this. Age does affect the body. It does cause muscle loss and loss of mobility. But the difference between somebody who's active appropriately and the difference between someone who's sedentary is massive. It's huge. If you take a 70-year-old who's been lifting weights their whole, whole life and you compare them to an average 70-year-old who doesn't do anything, the difference between them is like it's like two different species. You have somebody who's got muscle strength, full mobility and independence, and then you have someone with chronic illness, loss of mobility, and loss of independence. So yes, age does affect how much muscle you can you you can have on your body, but boy, can you offset the shit out of that? Yeah, but I don't with even proper like, I don't even like saying that. Mm -hmm. I don't even like telling people that that it has something to do with it because it can be totally the opposite. It's 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 a it's a general truth that we've used because we've lumped everybody in one study. We give way too much power to it. Yes, what that's saying. what I'm saying. That's yes. why I don't even like to. Yeah. I don't even like to fucking. You don't want to highlight. It yes, it's, it's I don't like I, when the clients yeah, used to yeah. say that. Be like, no, no, yeah, that's not yeah, true. Yeah. You're hiring me today, Susie. No, I get your point. At 60 years old, you've never worked out in your life. I'm going to give you more muscle than you've ever had in your life. Sure. For sure. sure. Yeah, some a uh, 50-year-old who lifts weights and does it appropriately is going to have more muscle and strength than a 30-year-old who does nothing. Exactly. Yeah, that's, and that's but, why I don't like to use right. that those studies. But age and, age does play objectively speaking. Right, makes age, it more makes it more difficult yeah, for it, multiple reasons, yeah, right? Yeah. For multiple reasons. Right, it's your not, hormones get affected all kinds of factors. Right. You do, but even even this, look, even if you're even if you lift weights and you stay active, your hormones don't get don't get affected nearly as much. Oh yeah. yeah. Especially if you're, you're a man. You stabilize them a lot better. Yeah, especially for men. A man's testosterone levels stay pretty stable yeah. uh, for most of their life as long as they're exercising and active. So aging does have an effect, but but working out, especially resistance training, has a direct opposing effect to the effects of aging. Right. And what, what to your point, Adam, what we see with aging is this. You're a kid. You're, you're, you're in your teens. You're playing outside. You're playing sports. Now in your 20s, maybe you're more active. You're still active in your 20s. Then you hit your 30s. You got kids not really being active anymore, 40s, all you do is work, 50s, definitely all you do is work, 60s, you retire, now you don't even work anymore. <laughs> a lot of the decline in the health and muscle mass that we see, a lot of it is lifestyle. Is lifestyle. Yes. Some of it is due to age, but not nearly as much right. as, 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 as much as we think there is. And to your point that yeah. the somebody, that person who goes down that trajectory of that's what the average quote unquote person does, exactly, I think that's a great point you're making. That same person, uh, and if we were to look at his muscle mass at 60 years old, if you were to compare that same guy who decided to weight train his whole life, boy, would the 
the the the difference if you were to measure their body uh, hormonally, muscle mass wise, it would be astronomically. Oh, different. it's it's in, it's insane. Look, I just turned forty this year. Um, if when I look at my peers who are forty, and forty is not that old, especially nowadays, people live to their eighties and nineties. So I'm I'm like halfway there. So I'm not that old, right? But I look at my peers who don't exercise, who don't lift weights, yeah, and it's like. Are we even the same? Are we even the same? You know, species. It doesn't look like it at well, all. It's like the snowball going down the hill. It you gets, know, if, you, if you get off track, it's really going to compile fast as you age. It totally. I mean, now if you're 15 years old or 20 years old, there's a difference. It ain't massive, but as you get older, boy, does that difference make a huge difference. So, in reality, here's the way I look at it, and this is why I do not uh, fear aging at all. In fact, I look forward to aging. Is as I get older, I separate myself more and more from my peers. You know, when I was lifting weights and I was 20, there was a difference between me and my peers. But there's a lot of 20-year-old dudes out there that don't work out that are still pretty strong and pretty mobile and whatnot. Not as many in their 40s. No. Not, not, as, not as many 40-year-old dudes that don't do anything that also have good mobility and good strength. And it's amazing. Like, so I even think like, so yesterday I was lifting and I was, uh, it was a heavy lift day for me. I've been in a, like a phase one of anabolic type of training and I haven't been training like this for a while. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing weights and I'm, I'm like, you know what, considering that I've gone through all this stuff hormonally, I'm approaching 40 years old. Like I'm looking at the weights that I'm lifting and I'm moving. And I, I would think that my volume, my frequency, everything's extremely low compared to just where I was five years ago. But when I compare myself to, 20 and 22 kicking ass yeah i i would fuck 22 year old me up and 22 year old me was training seven days a week yeah yeah so i mean that really puts into perspective like when you continue to train years over years over years how compounding that is even me right now which i would consider myself very deconditioned in comparison to the best version of me even me deconditioned right now is way better than me training seven days a week and and on it at 22 years old. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, man, you, 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 if you're tra weight training and staying consistent with it, yes, age does make it more difficult. But I mean, to me, there's also, if someone's could stay consistent with lifting, there's benefits to age, you know, the, 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 the old man strength and the CNS right. training and the patterns that I've built for so many in your body. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, yeah. it doesn't take me very long to get under that bar for a few weeks or a month and I'm already moving weights that it took me 10 years to get up to as a young kid. Yeah, and here's the here's the big reason why I don't like the age conversation. Objectively speaking, yes, our bodies all age. Yes, it has an impact on us. And as we get older, it becomes a larger and larger impact. But, but we just discussed how big of a difference activity and diet play in offsetting that. But here's the real reason why I hate that. Because it's inevitable. Why are we going to focus on something that we can't control? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like, it's you can't control it. So why place all your focus on it? Why say, oh, it's because I'm older. Oh, my, I'm getting older. It sucks or whatever. Y here's the deal: make peace with reality. Here's the reality: every second you're getting older, that's reality. <laughs> yeah. You might as well make peace with it because you can't change it. I, and, and they have yet to invent something that stops the aging process or reverses mm -hmm. it. So until that day comes. Yeah. Just make friends with it. Get I'm, used to rituals. Yeah, I'm getting older. Okay, yeah. so what? Uh, you know, I still I'm active. I work out. I have a good time. I eat right. Um, and again, as you get older, you will separate yourself from from your peers to the point where it will become. I've had clients. I've trained a lot of clients in their 60s and 70s, and I've trained some that were super consistent with working out who had been for 30 or 40 years. And man, let me tell you, it's not even it's not even fair. It's crazy. I had a client who was. 70, the last time I trained him, I think he was 72 years old and he'd been working out consistently for over 30 or 40 years. Here's a 72 year old man who could swim for two hours straight. He nonstop. I would do ab workouts with him. Okay. He actually would come in and would be my workout partner. And this fucker not only would keep up with me, but some days he would kick my ass. He was obviously independent as shit and he didn't need nobody. He's got great muscle on his body. He got his testosterone levels checked. He was at 600, you know, for a 72-year-old man. And, and, and then I compare him to, like, the average 70-year-old that I know, you know, like family members or people that I know that are 70. And it's, I look at them, and I'm like, they're on 15 different medications. Mm -hmm. They can't get out of a couch without somebody helping them. They can't. Some of them need assistance already. Um, they can't walk, 
you know, for more than, you know, a quarter mile without having to stop. And it's like, wow, what a comp- that you have. They need Viagra. Yeah. You've put yourself in a cage. You know what I mean? That cage is, is, is age. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to, it's going to happen to me no matter what for sure. But age is a cage. But boy, does it make a big difference when you're, when Boom. you're, when you do the right stuff.